Hello viewers, this is John from Cloud Tech Insights. In today's session, we'll be talking about AWS Lake Formation on a specific topic called LF Tag Based Access. Let's get to uh, the demo. Um, today, we'll be talking about two types of access uh, that can be granted within uh, Lake Formation. Uh, one is the uh, name resource access. So when you hit grant you are given two options which is the name data catalog resources as well as resource matched by lf tag option or else we call it the lake formation tag access uh, what we are doing here is um, you are tagging the table with let's say two labels let's say a department and whether the information is confidential or not and then you are granting uh, uh, the user uh, the corresponding access to those particular tags. So let's say if a sales department, uh, if you tag a table with sales department and grant a user to all the tables within sales department, then the user get access to all the tables which is tagged with sales as well as the databases, okay? So that's the whole purpose of the uh, tag-based approach. It is more scalable compared to named catalog approach uh, so if you have a large organization, you would want to go with the LF tag based approach. Whereas the name data catalog is good for a small organization where you can keep on giving access, but to avoid being a bottleneck uh, for accesses, uh, AWS recommends using LF tag approach. Okay, so let's quickly uh, see how we can create uh, the LF tag first, then how do you assign a tag to a table or a database? After that, how do you grant access to the tables or the users? Okay, so let's move on. Um, so here, the first step is go to the LF tags and permissions section under the permission uh, section. So. Uh, go ahead and add an LF tag. Let's say I want to add department, okay? And the different departments under the uh, section. So let's say sales, comma, marketing, comma, finance. Let's say there are three departments within the org and then you want to have a label which is called sales and marketing and finance. So hit the add button and then it uh, adds to the, uh, the values and then add the LF tag. Now you can see the tag being added. So let's also add one more tag here, which is called confidential. So basically what this tag means is if the document uh, is confidential or not. And the value is, you can say Y and N saying yes or no, if they are confidential. So this helps you uh, control, let's say you're giving access to a sales department, you wanna make sure not all the documents are shared, but you want only the non-confidential documents shared with the users or a group of users within uh, AWS. So once the, um, the uh, LF tag is created, the next step is to go to the table section and click on the table and then uh, provide access via grant, okay? So before that, I wanna quickly show you my, the, the demo user that I am right now. Uh, I wanna run the query against the sample table. I don't have any accesses. Uh, I revoked all the access, made it clean. So I wanna show you like I, I didn't have access to the table, okay? Now what I'm doing is uh, I'm adding the demo user. Bad. So demo user here, and then switching to the resource matched by LF tag option here. And then I tell them which tag that I need to apply. So I picked confidential. I said uh, not a confidential tag or a country can pick both and two. Now, this is where it comes. You have to now figure out whether the corresponding uh, table has the access or is tagged with the confidential N as well as let's say the department sales. I'll pick these two, okay? 
So anything with these two labels will be given access to the corresponding demo users. Let it be one table, let it be 10 table, let it be 100 table. Only the tables with these two labels will be granted access uh, to the corresponding demo user. So before we go there, I'm going to open uh, the tables in another uh, uh, window and I'm going to the accents uh, section and edit LF tag. That's an option. Now you can tag this table as confidential no, department and sales. So now this table has two tags. One is the confidential equal to N. Second is the department equal to sales. Now we save this. So this table is tagged with these two labels now. Now what we do is in this grant permission, we continue with the grant where I'm providing the same label N as well as the uh, sales uh, label. And you can see the uh, equation here. It's an AND operation. And you are giving the select and describe access to the user, which means this user will get access to any tables under which has the label um, confidential equal to N and sales, department equal to sales. So this is something we have to keep in mind. When you grant LF tag based access, you have to ensure that you really mean to give that person an access because once you give a bigger access, the person will have access to all the tables with these two labels on, okay? So once I grant the access, um, it will have the access information and then you can view the permissions and you can you can see all these info here and then you are uh, good to go now you go back to the query editor table run the query again you'll be able to get the information all the tables so, so this is how you uh, grant access via lf tag uh, and uh, I, I would say uh, be cautious while providing uh, LF tag access because it means you're providing access to all the tables with that particular tag. Okay, so that concludes the demo. Uh, thank you for visiting the channel. For latest update, please hit subscribe. Thank you again. See you in the next video. Bye.